So this is lesson 38, problem set. Okay, one of the biggest things dealing with story problems in these problem sets are the uh, ridiculously stupid names they give for different things. Um, practice A says the ratio of neophytes to masters at the tryout was 7 to 2. You don't have to know what a neophyte is or a master, but a neophyte is someone who's new to a particular thing. They're uh, newbies. They are rookies. And masters are somebody that's been in something for a long time. So anyway, I would just write it as 7 n over 2 m. So neophytes to masters. You know you have to know what the n and the m stand for is long. The only reason you use that is so that you have this here and then you've got 714 neophytes and you're looking for masters there okay and the same with the second one the crowd in the Belgrade town square you don't need to know what a croat or a serb is but uh, just use C and S and the same with number one in a picaresque novel about the Spanish main the ratio of rascals to good guys was 13 to 5 okay so you know what a rascal is, you know what a good guy is, so you should be good. Ignore that the um, word uh, picaresque novel. Don't worry about that. Um, other than that, not too bad. Number 7 and 8 we talked about in the last section about number lines. So remember when it says something like x is less than 2, really all you have to do is have a 2 there and you've got your arrow going this way and you have to decide whether that's going to be an open circle or a closed circle depending on whether it's greater than equal to less than or equal to so numbers 22 23 you're using distributive don't forget that whenever you have a zero and an exponent it equals one same with the number 24 and 25 and 27 other than that, it doesn't look like there's anything else really scary there.